It is Monday, December 20th, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. We're finishing up the season of Advent, just a few more days to go until we celebrate the birth of Christ. Today's psalm is from number 113, which is a psalm of praise. Like so many of the last, oh, 40 or 50 psalms, the voices of the psalmist sing out in praise to a God who has done wonderful things. Praise or worship is something that can give people a little bit of a hard time sometimes. I've been asked several times throughout my career whether God expects our praise, whether God in fact demands our praise. Why would one worship a God, they ask, who demands to be given such honor, as if worship and praise was something that was a duty to be done, a a law that had been given, and that God was some kind of egomaniacal spiritual creature who absorbed all of the attention, a narcissist, in fact. But that's to miss the point of worship at all, Worship is not something that we do because we have to. It it wells up from the center of the human soul as a response to the fact that we are, that we exist, that we breathe and live. Even if living is hard, even if the suffering of the world is all around us, we still exist. And if we look just a little bit, we will find that grace and mercy abound through the people who love us, through the blessings that we have each day for the humble food and roof over our head. There are many things that cause us to understand that we are blessed. And so praise, praise wells up from the human soul to sing to God. Now, we don't always praise. Sometimes we lament. Sometimes we cry out in anguish, but when praise comes, when we worship God, we don't do it because God demands it, but because our hearts can't help it. So the psalmist sings today, praise the Lord, praise, O servants of the Lord. And right in that second line, we get a a revelation about what it means to be blessed by grace. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Who are these servants? Well, there anyone who's been blessed by God to be alive. It's you and it's me and it's all the generations who have turned their faces toward the stars, who have looked across the feast-laden table, who have enjoyed the embrace of family. All of those who realize that God has blessed us in abundance and who sing out in praise and worship. The psalmist continues, praise the name of the Lord from this time on and forevermore. You see, worship can be a discipline in times of trial. When we turn ourselves to worship God, we can worship even in the midst of our struggles. And when we do that, we can open our souls to see the grace and mercy all around us. The psalmist then calls us, to praise God at all times, from the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Once our hearts begin to sing, it's hard to stop them. We, in fact, have been called together by God and blessed by God, and so once we understand this, well, it's only natural for us to praise and worship God. The song that we're singing for today is called Each Winter as the Year Grows Older. It's a recognition that even as we live in a world that fades and seasons that cycle, winter reminds us of the very mortality of the world, that we still have reason to praise. The two verses for today say, each winter as the year grows older, we each grow older too. The chill sets in a little colder. The verities we knew seem shaken and untrue. Yet, a powerful word, 
yet. Yet I believe beyond believing that life can spring from death, that growth can flower from our grieving, that we can catch our breath and turn transfixed by faith. This is a movement of recognizing that the world is not always hospitable and not everything is all joy and gladness. But even in the midst of that, we have a God who is faithful and who will call us constantly to new life and new beginnings. Let us pray. Our gracious and almighty God, we indeed sing your praises for even to open our eyes, even even to breathe breath, even to know that the sun has risen and will set again is evidence of your grace and your mercy and your love. Open our hearts to you, Lord, that we may sing fully the praises that are due you. Not that you demand them, but that we can't help but sing them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.